once Greg gets airborne. Now, he is a fun-loving guy that likes people, and you're going to hear some of that enthusiasm in the cockpit from Greg. Let's see if we can say hi to Greg. Oh, Greg, what are you doing doing a negative G push out right after takeoff? Oh, I dropped something. I was just trying to grab it on the floor. Uh, what did I do? I don't know. Welcome, Andrew, everybody. Make some noise for Greg Coots. You've got yourself a great airplane, don't you? I do. This is the American champion I... Super Decathlon, uh, cream of the crop for the airplanes they make and the most, uh, really the most popular aerobatic airplane ever made. And I love them. So you got uh, a bit of opportunity to share with us uh, what it's like to fly an aircraft that is less in performance than the F-16 Fighting Falcon, but a great teacher, isn't it? Oh, it really is. Great teacher, and uh, people can get these things to go along. Snap roll on top, I think. Danny Clisham knows this as well as I, or better than I do. Great Coons, let her rip. Have some fun. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> He's like a rodeo star in a bucking bronco. He's having more fun than anybody on the ground. All right, watch this combination of maneuvers with precision and skill. The oh, you got a lot of people packed in down there. Watch this. Upside down. Snap roll. Draws the heart of the sky and closes it up. Perfect avalanche. Yeah, it felt good. really did. It's hot in here, so I'm working on the energy, but uh, it's doing it. It's loving it. Come out, it's a little hammerhead. The next robot I did is uh, I'm going to do a slow roll across the top instead of a snap roll. Just to show off the uh, slow operating and rolling ability of the airplane. Here we go. All right, minimum control speed. You'll slow things down from inverted flight to right side up, all the way around back to inverted, and then close up that sky. <laughs> all right, Greg, now. Now that was a, a good inside hump to bump. What kind of speeds do you get going in your D, Super D there? I like about 150 if I'm uh, to a half a roll. All right, so we'll, we'll do it again. We'll come up and this will be a, a negative one. In other words, I'll be pushing over the top. Right side up, but pushing so it puts me up in the, in the seat belt, just like that. Straight down, get some more speed. And let's go come up one more time. I like doing these things. The outside hump to bump, anything that was loose in the airplane comes floating up by your nose, doesn't it? Yeah. Luckily it's new, there's no least there's not that much dust in here. And you got that absolutely right. Yeah, here we go. All right. And I've got to do a reverse cubit. You're picking out a great portion of big blue sky with your red airplane, and the white smoke is red, white, and blue. Explain to us what a Cuban 8 is if you've got time. It's basically five eighths of a loop done twice. You roll out and you do it again. So I'm going to roll out right here, get all straight, then just do it again, and it ends up just drawing an 8 on its side. Invented by Len Colby in 1936 in Miami, quite by accident. All right, now if you look in the direction of that blue 747 on the other side of the airplane from wherever you're at, you will see crew members holding up a ribbon. Greg Coons is going to be uh, playing with that ribbon a little later on in his routine.
Uh, the grass has already been cut, Greg Coons. You don't need to, you don't need to go any lower. <laughs> Yeah, I think I didn't cut it, did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, it just broke. I just found a break. Uh-oh. Yeah, the wind got it. That will happen on a windy day. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, but I went under it. I mean, what else can you do, you know? All right, so I'm going to climb up so I can uh, change, exchange some more gravity for speed and uh, do the last half. But this last half... Maneuvers, right? Yeah, it really balances out the airplane beautifully. I, I, I really like it. It's a uh, good feel to it. Of course, they improved the ailerons not, not too long ago, so that's, a, that's another goodie we got for it. All right, here we come. What you explained about a humpy bump, it's a hairpin oh, turnaround. Before we get started, and here we go over the top. Ooh, the float across the top. Here we go. Yeah. Right into his seat, and then oh, press wow. down into his That's seat. Scary. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm everybody else. That gets my adrenaline going right there. We had fun with that one as well. Alright, it'll come through a great big old loop for the people down this end. And back down, creeping into the 4G range and to a hammerhead. Throughout the, throughout the range of your flight, what kind of horsepower are you pulling from your engine? Alright, it's so 180 horsepower line coming up. Uh, a little bit less than that in the seat. But, uh, yeah, that's what the time it is. Seating is tandem. Very comfortable aircraft, good for just about anything. Cross-country, sport flying, light aerobatics, heavy aerobatics. Okay, I'm going to come back in for the, the uh, Super Decathlon couple, whatever that is, but it's going to be what it is. Now get your eyes and cameras ready for this one because it is a very graphic maneuver and it uh, it's, let's just say it's wild. Just start out with a little roll to loosen up and here we go. Keep an eye on the tail and the nose and watch this. Hang on, cowboy. Oh, he made it! He made it! Yeah! <laughs> now, right there, the rod. I was saying, when it gets stuck like that, you're going, ah! <laughs> that one took what Bill Barber used to call a good line. <laughs> All right, then we'll come by and show off the rolling capability of the airplane with what I like to call the multi roll. Swing around here, line up. Boy, I hope everybody's having such a great time. What an air show. This is, this is beautiful. And by the way, as you come in, congratulations on your 50th year of being a top-notch, well-sought-after air show pilot. You're so hot. Triple roll. Uh, wait, he, one more for effect. Now that is a great pilot in a great airplane. Four consecutive rolls. All right, got to reverse directions again here. Come back and just do a great big old-fashioned barrel roll. <laughs> now, barrel roll is a precision right, maneuver. They just got to <laughs> give you good spatial orientation. He's on about flight school just for that. Speed, single coordinated maneuver. Just gonna come up, pull her up, keep it a positive G, really all the way around on that. Just real close to zero right there. And then back around on heading, timing everything together. I love it. Change of altitude, change of direction, change of speed, all in a precision environment. Coming on the last half for a salute to veterans, and that's what I've been doing for the last 20 years. Every air show, doesn't matter if it's better a day or not or whatever, because we got to think of our veterans every day. they got to think of the people in active service every day. They're out there protecting the United States of America and our interests and our, our people. And they can't be here today, but we can. We're having a great time. 
let's think for just this past, let's think about our veterans and our active service. And even those are, are willing to are willing to sign up and take the job. Here we go, sleep better. Great applause and thanks to your salute to the veterans. This crowd loves great coons. Hey, so do I. Hey, we got stuff in the comments. <laughs> We're going to talk about uh, Sky Country Lodge when you sign up, but when you set up for the landing, we'll see you on the ground. Okay, that's the second time that's happened. It's not going to work. America! Brought to you by Kettering Health today. Greg Koontz, Super Decathlon, pretty cool demonstration for the guy with the Sky Country Lodge in the foothills of the Appalachian, uh, North Alabama. Greg specializes in basic aerobatic courses, upset training. You can check it out on the World Wide Web. Check GregKuntzAirShows.com for that Sky Country Lodge.